No Machine is a software application which allows users to remotely access and control their desktop environment from another computer. It supports multiple operating systems, enabling users to connect to a desktop from any other device, regardless of operating system. Today, we are going to connect NVIDIA Jetson's running headless to a Windows machine. This is one of the easiest ways to run a remote desktop from a Jetson. Hello, it's Jim from JetsonX.com. The first step is to install No Machine on the Jetson. No Machine has a knowledge base page to help us. It's called Tips for Using No Machine on NVIDIA Jetson Nano. You can use these instructions to work with any NVIDIA Jetson. I will show it working with a Jetson or a Nano later in the video. Always something to look forward to. Let's work from the downloads directory. Let's download No Machine using wget. Now we install it with dpackage, password, and we're off and installing. We are running our Jetson Nano headless. Let's turn off the X server. Then we need to restart the NX server. NX is a network protocol designed for fast remote access to graphical desktops and applications. Now we're ready to power down the Jetson and prepare it for headless operation. Then we're off to do our install on the Windows machine. We wander over to the No Machine website. Let's make this full screen. The website auto detects that we're on a Windows machine. Let's click the button. Push the button, Max! <laughs> Open up the folder. Let's rearrange this. Then double click to start the installation. Yes, please. Then we'll just hop through the installation. Next. Oh boy, licensing. I accept my fate. Next. Installation complete. To complete the installation, restart your computer. OK. Now we're in a different world. Let's start up No Machine. There are dialogues to help you through the startup process. Take advantage of those. Here's another helpful, handy dialogue. OK. When a device is running No Machine, it advertises on the network. Why, here's the Jetson. Hmm, let's look at this window behind here. First time through, we need to verify the Jetson. OK. Then we log into the Jetson. Username and password. OK. The Jetson is running headless. It doesn't have a display. Let's have no machine create a virtual one for us. OK, we've connected. More handy tips. Our screen resolution is a little bit off here. Let's open up the No Machine menu panel. We open up the display submenu. Let's wander over to change settings. Let's change the setting. Let's go 1920 by 1080. This one always tricks me. It wants me to modify the advanced display settings. I'm not going to fall for it. Let's go back. Now we're at 1920 by 1080. Let's take a look at a browser. Let's see, jetsonhacks.com. That's always a good one to go to. Let's go into this one. We're running a web browser on the Jetson, on our Windows machine. Makes my brain hurt. Let's run this video. Let's see how it performs. Many people know that you can use SSH to run command line programs on a remote Linux device. But did you know that you can use it to run GUI programs too? Linux has network transparent graphics. This means that you can run graphics from a remote machine well, that appears to work pretty well. Interesting. 
Let's close that up. Let's open up the demo file. At full resolution, it's a little bit laggy. Let's open up a terminal. Let's launch the camera. There I am. You can see that it's a little bit slow and laggy. The compression is rather strange also. On the other hand, you get a camera image. That's pretty useful if you're trying to debug something. It looks like it's going maybe 10 frames a second or so. Let's close this up. Let's run our face detect demo. We'll run it with CUDA. Loading up the model. There we are. So 20 frames per second that it's calculating it. This is a much smaller window. It feels like it keeps up much better. Oh, we should run our friend JTOP. That's always fun. Let's see. Let's take a look at the GPU here. It looks like it's pretty busy. So not too bad. I'd say it's usable, but it's not exactly like running the Jetson on a monitor. It's pretty simple and gets the job done. Okay, I installed no machine on a Jetson or a Nano. We're over here in our Windows box. Let's expand the no machine window. Okay, you can see that the frame rate's a lot better here on the Jetson or Nano than it was on the Jetson Nano. Let's take a look at the CPU usage. You can see that we're using all six CPUs, 50 to 60%. Basically what No Machine does is it compresses the display bits on the Jetson side and then sends them to the Windows side. On the Jetson, that's all done on the CPU. On the Windows side, that's all done in the GPU. Let's take a look at the camera window again. You can see it's pretty heavily compressed. That it shows up as a lack of definition and compression artifacts. Let's crank it up to the best quality. If you go to the right-hand corner, there's a little page peel. We'll click on that. Let's crank it up to best quality. Well, that's a little bit better. You can still see compression artifacts. It's not a great clear picture, but you probably don't expect it to be. The CPU is just cranking away. You can probably get better performance if you use a lightweight desktop environment. No Machine recommends on the Jetson Nano that you use XFCE. That's pretty easy to install. It's just a pseudo apt install XFCE4. Just follow the instructions. It's more lightweight than GNOME. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.